Taco Tuesday. We have Paul and we got Abby here. Let's get Abby in the scene here. There she is, Abby. <laughs> there she is. She's in my van. Now why, you probably ask, are all three of you in Lee's van? What's up with that? I know, you well, tell. I've, I've been dealing with a cracked windshield for nine, ten months now. <laughs> And it keeps growing and growing and... It was going three ways. It was growing <laughs> this way and this way and this way, yeah. Really kind of cool, but... Yeah. But anyway, art. I'm, uh, as you know, I'm uh, uh, doing everything I need to do to become an Arizona citizen. And part of that is my automobile insurance. So before I switch over companies, well, actually it's the same company, but it's a different state and they have different rules and such uh i was told it's best if i get the windshield replaced before i switch insurance companies so today the windshield is being uh, replaced and in a day or two i'll do the switcheroo on the companies so, so in the meantime he can't be in his van and neither can abby so they're under my control for a couple hours <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh, crazy, huh? Yes. Yeah. I've got him locked in the back of my van. Yeah, I'm not too sure what to make of this. <laughs> you'll, you'll survive it. Barely. I'm, I'm sure. Barely, yes. So it's Taco Tuesday. We can talk about anything we want to, can't we? Yeah, that's what it's all about. I know. Well, it's been a, it's been kind of an interesting week, right? That, that could be good or bad. <laughs> I know it, yeah. It's been interesting. It's really been cold, though, hasn't it? It has. I mean, in the morning, my whole schedule with in the morning exercising, it's, it's totally changed. But one of you way back said, well, I like to exercise only in the morning. If it doesn't happen in the morning, it, early, it's not going to happen. Uh -huh. Well, guess what? It's been happening. I've been just waiting, and I've been so anxious to exercise that I can still do it. I know this isn't, like, a great of interest uh, subject, but yeah, it's something to talk about. But, yeah, I've been getting my exercising done 10, with, 30, 11 o'clock. With your electrified jacket on. Yes, I've been putting on my electric jacket in the morning. But I don't even come out of my van sometimes till 8, 9 o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I just sit in here, and I'm doing stuff on doing that stuff like photography or writing or things like that yeah so what's new with you paul well should i do a report on the refrigerator yeah, yeah, yeah i yeah. finally have it all figured out <laughs> that i've come to find out that what reading there is on the temperature of the refrigerator is not necessarily what it is inside that refrigerator. But I finally determined that if I set it for 32. Oh. Five two oh, I better get that. Yes. Okay. So I have found if I have the temperature set on the refrigerator display at about 32, 32, it's, yeah. 32 or 33 degrees that will get me at 39 or f sometimes 38 let's say 38 to 40 degrees actual and as long as i know that i'm in good shape so what i'm doing with the refrigerator it's working out really well i have uh two blue eddy 500 watt uh power mm -hmm. banks and i i switch them out every few days but I have the uh, solar panel on the roof of my van uh, attached to the Blue Eddy and the refrigerator attached to the Blue Eddy and I'm finding as long as I get four or five hours of sunlight which in Tucson Arizona is not difficult to do as long as I get four or five hours of sunlight I don't have to touch it it, it hardly goes down a bar. It's really wonderful. Uh, so it's working very, very well, and I'm very pleased with it. It's, it's tremendous. 
So once I got that, and someone was kind enough, and I'm sorry, I forgot your name. Someone was kind enough to give me the genuine set power instructions if you did have to uh, kind of uh, massage your temperature reading a little bit. I didn't go through all that. I just thought, I know that it's roughly 10 degrees apart. And I said it like that, and we're good to go. So I'm very, very pleased with both the set power and how it's performing and the Blue Eddy 500 watt uh, uh, power bank and how it's is performing. Very good. That yeah. was a great report. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. So and and I had gotten into the habit. I think maybe I mentioned this once before, but I had gotten into the habit of when I had to get a carton of milk or anything out of the, the bottom, if you will, of my ice chest, wiping it off, getting all the water. You know what? Uh, there's no water. There's no I ice. Know. I don't have to get ice every three days or, or so. Uh, life is good. I'm just loving it. So you're a happy camper. I am. A happy you camper. really are a happy camper. <laughs> People say, I'm a happy camper. You are a happy camper. I am. I am. In I your am. camper van. I can't complain a bit. I know. It's really great. I'm, yeah. I was just thinking when you're talking, although I did listen, but I was thinking, where would I even put one? Um, maybe like here where my overflow bin is, but um, yeah, like right there. But you do need space because of the compressor, the fan. Right. Yeah. Right. It, you have it, to it have has air. to breathe. Right. And of course, you have to. The other big thing is you have to have space to lift the lid whenever you want it unless you want to unload stuff from it every time and that's no fun he's my so. captive here hi <laughs> i don't know how abby feels but i am a little abby's down here i'm a little discombobulated here <laughs> don't be uh, scared honey don't be scared <laughs> you won't hurt me will you oh, not much <laughs> huh. oh um, yeah anyway so well the meetup is going to start on the 6th at Dome Rock in Quartzsite. And there'll be a lot more information. But Marco's just adding on um, activities upon activities upon activities. Now, every morning at 8 o'clock, I'm going to do a 15-minute a, a Bible study on, and then a little prayer. So we can start the day right if that's if that's what you want. There you go. don't have to. You don't have to participate. You you don't have to participate in any of the activities if you don't want to. You can just park around us and, well. or, yeah. And then, um, one gal, um, you said, um, well, I can only come for two days. Is that okay? Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's, it, it's free. Everything is, you have the freedom to do exactly as you wish, except if it hurts other people, <laughs> then you don't have that freedom or hurts the land. But basically, you're free to come and go as you want. Um, yeah. I think the key word here is informal. It's informal. Yeah, you can even come out in the morning in your robe <laughs> with your coffee, yeah. Oh, I probably should have bought that red robe, huh? Oh, yeah, we should go back and get it, huh? Well, I bet they still have some. Let's go find a thrift store so they're cheaper. <laughs> that would be better. Yeah, we'll yeah. go to a thrift yeah. store and find you a nice robe. We could get a woman's robe. That would be cool. Uh, yeah, no. Sorry, Dullards, you lost that. I scale. know, oh, that wow. was expensive. How much was it? Like 60, 70 bucks? You know, I didn't even look. It was look. a polo. I knew wasn't I wasn't it going to buy it. Wasn't it polo? It was yeah. a polo, yeah. Oh, my gosh, yeah. yeah. So that's, it's looking good. They're just, Marco's doing a good job. He's getting um, activity upon activity going and he's posting it on our Facebook group. Oh, I am so glad that I thought about this. Hey, listen, everybody, if you want, if you're not in the Facebook group and you want to be in the Facebook group, you really need to have a profile pic of yourself and it needs to look as real as possible because right now we're kind of like, not taking anybody that, you know, for reasons that we have, I think you can figure it out. But yeah, we're not, yeah. So you have to have a profile pic and everything. So if you didn't and you didn't get accepted, just try again and yeah, have a profile pic. And, and um, let's see, how now, else could we? I was just going to say that I believe it was yesterday yeah. on the Facebook group, Marco posted a 
activity, what, fiber something, clothing or something like that? How to, if I don't know what I'm talking about, I shouldn't talk. Right? <laughs> I, I know what you mean. I wasn't sure what it was either. Wasn't but, it um, fiber? It was making something out of a cloth thing or... Or but, natural fibers or something. Yeah, what... what but okay. see, you, you, you need to pay attention and you need to be yeah. in the Facebook group. That's for sure. Yeah, right. I don't know why I always play. Sorry, I always play with my hair. I really didn't comb it very well today either. Uh, I know it's kind of like, yeah, I wake up and it's like... Just yeah, one of those days. I'm very nomadish lately with my hair and everything. It's about time to wash it again. As if, you know, you're like, why does she always talk about her hair? I don't know. I touch it. I talk about it. Yeah, I don't talk about my hair. And I'm happy to have hair. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to talk. Let's talk hair. How's your hair doing, girls? Mm. Guys, how's your hair doing? Yeah. Well, I have another through, um, through night flashlight. And it's a, what's the lettering on this? TC15 V3. Yes. I and, assume that means version three. Yeah, I'm testing his memory. Well, how many lumens? Twelve hundred. Yes. And what's the distance of the light? Why are we quizzing, Paul? Why not? Well, because I, you're my captive, and I'm yeah, gonna make I you. Guess. You had performed. Get on. <laughs> no, <laughs> and I didn't. I don't make him do videos, by the way. <laughs> and like, yeah. I mean. Well, this particular <laughs> flashlight. Uh, the distance of uh, that it throws the light, if you will, 600 yards. 600 nice. yards, which is um, football field wise. Oh, two of them. Two football no, fields. No, six of them. Crying out loud, I can't even do math. Six 600 football. yards is six football fields. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh, so a football field is only 100 yards? Uh -huh. Oh, no. Oh, well, well. Okay, yeah. So this is this, and it comes, they they send their flashlights, this this box, I think you could drive over it. I think and, I could, sta yes, I could stand on it. Yes, uh, I, really, okay, I need something to stand uh, on, you know, to get up. And uh, this is a very, the wonderful boxes, but it comes with this, instructions, uh -huh. um, little doodad stuff, what would you call these things? Uh, uh, grommets. Grommets, okay. <laughs> this and is a, one of those USB C yes, chargers. Yes. Charging cords. A very nice holster. Oh, yeah. 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 There you go. And I, this is what I was looking for. This is, I forgot to put this on. Oh, yeah. This is um, the clip, and it's a two way clip. So you can put it on this way or the other way, yeah. You can put it on your hat for one thing. Let me see if I can figure the, whoop, figure this out. There you go. And depending on the way you have your flashlight in the clip. Yeah. The clip goes on just like that or a little straighter. And of course the flashlight is sitting on top of the brim uh, uh, of your cap. Yeah. And it works really well. Yeah. So, we got through night. I love through night. Hey, Vincy. I love through night. They are awesome. Now, does the clip go right around here? I believe so. Okay. Because okay, it's really tight. Once it goes on, it's kind of yeah, on. Very hard to get off. It is. Yeah, and I don't want it on that there. Yeah, you don't want to block that. Don't want to block it. So. Snap her on. Okay, Mr. Strongman. Here's your exercise tape. <laughs> yeah. There we go. There we go. And Very I nice. had already put this on. I like them to have this so that, you know, if I have the flashlight, if I drop it, you know, it won't go anywhere. But it's just your, they're really, they're, they're all the same. If you hold it, if you press it, wait a minute. Not to, just turn it on. That's, no, that's not true. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just, if you turn on and hold it, it's Firefly. I love that. Perfect for in the morning. And then, of course.
That's brighter than Firefly, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. I know you have to... The, the, the only thing I don't like about, and I think they're kind of the same, maybe, or maybe it is through night. It's, you really, it takes good, you have to do it quickly. And I would rather, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but it seemed like it would be easier with a better switch. Now, if you just press and hold, does something happen then? Yeah, Firefly. If you hold, continue to hold the button, it doesn't. Well, I'm going to turn it off now. I'm just going to press it and hold it for a second, and then it turns Firefly. Now, if I pr hold, keep holding it. No. Hmm. I think. Uh oh. I think I have to um, charge it up. <laughs> Oops. Okay. But this is. I'll believe the link for it. It's T C fifteen one five V three. Yes. I like it. I always... 400 lumens, 600 yards of distance. Yeah. It's a nice little flashlight. Yeah. Powerful little flashlight. Yeah. Okay. Let me put that right here. All right. So through night, I think through night is pretty darn cool. There we go. So let's, we got to talk about there, buddy. What else is buddy going boy? on? Other hmm. than the, the chilly weather and... Uh, by the way, folks, you, we, we cut that out or will Lee will edit it out. They called me about five minutes ago and said that my vehicle is ready. <laughs> I know. They, didn't, they haven't had that thing longer than 20 minutes. Yep. Nice work. Yep. Good job, Dwight Auto Glass. Exactly. Yeah. Let's see. Do I have, oh, well, I could do an update on this. I had something wrong with my eye. Remember? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You sure look at me like, oh, did you? <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. I remember. It was that it was well. like there was either something in it or something was in it and it scratched my eye. It drove me insane yeah. for a good two days. It was all during Thanksgiving too. Yeah. Thanksgiving Day. I really had to make sure that I had my glasses on. And it was really hard to go to sleep because as soon as I shut my eye, if my eyeball went back and forth, it was like it was scratching against my um, inner, un, under my lid, the upper lid. It was miserable. But I did get some blink. I remember Tyler told me about blink. I think it was him. So I did get some blink. I thought, well, maybe my eyes. I've been, I was diagnosed that I had dry eyes. So I went ahead and um, got this. I'm going to start using this all the time you know, for tears. Yeah. So, but it is better now. I don't know what happened to it. I keep checking it to see it was kind of blurry, mm. but yeah. So thankfully it's all but gone. I know, I know exactly. Yeah. There's nothing more um, annoying and it, you're almost obsessed with it because you can't think about anything else when something's wrong with your eye. I mean, if there's something in your eye or it's, there's a there's a scratch on it it kind of drives you insane because it's all you it never goes away every because your eyes move i mean how many times did we say that we bl we looked it up how many times do we blink oh it's amazing yeah it's almost like um like five thousand times we blink in a day i mean it's a it's a large keep uh, that eyeball clean i guess yeah we're blinking all the time so i figured if we do that i mean we're we're losing a lot of uh, time that we see what's going on. <laughs> if you put true. it all together, we're blinded. You know, like eh. no. yeah, we're, we're. But you can blink and you miss, like a bird going by, or you blink and you miss something. Lots of things. I know. Somebody putting their hand in front of you. Yeah. Oh, I blinked. I put my hand in front. Did you see it? No, you did <laughs> not. Yeah. Yes, I did. <laughs> so we're missing a lot of the world, aren't we, by blinking? Evidently. We could tape our eyes open. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that would be very comfortable. I think that's a torture method, isn't it? And then put them out in the sun. Oh. Ooh. But I think people, you know, the dastardly people, that's one of those little torture things. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So we're having a good time in, in Tucson, I think. We're, yeah. Yes, we are. <laughs> yes, we are, considering. But, yeah. but 
I've got a trip to uh, Quartzite in my future, and maybe Lee's going to go along with me. She, maybe she's we'll tossing see. around the idea, but I have a package. If you're good, I might go with you. From my friends at BCM Mailing Service, uh, I have more than one package. I, I have lots of mail, very important things like a license plate, a, a uh, uh, what do you call it when you, the driver's license, when you cover mm -hmm. it in plastic, laminated, uh, genuine driver's license. I didn't want to send those things here to Tucson. And besides, I wanted an excuse to get back to Quartzsite too. <laughs> I have a question. Yes. Somebody had mentioned that, well, does it have a star on it so that you could fly? Some reason she could, I specifically, ask about that because I get, had my passport there just yeah. in case it was needed and I do not have the star but you have your passport so you can fly right does yeah right I've got a passport card that I could use as well right so for you can Canada, still travel Mexico. but you have your passport right right yeah the so only the only if if my uh, uh, paper version of my driver's license, is correct. The only thing that is in there is that I am a uh, donor of pieces and parts if anybody wants them. Uh, it only says donor on there and nothing else. Mm. So, anyway. Yeah. Well, there you go. You're a donor. I'm just putting this all back together again. So, I guess that's not not a whole lot of info, although, or maybe it's a whole lot of info. Which one was it? I think it was a whole bunch of info. <laughs> okay, so, all right. <laughs> I know we're just a little. It's a little bit disorganized here today, but yeah, we I've were going to go do it someplace. A, a vehicle with a new windshield. I know. Oh, oh. And if you guys are really up on this, and gals, um, I said I wanted my windshield tinting to be darker. She said, we make it, a, we apply the windshield that will work anywhere in the country. And that under law, that's what we have to do. I see cars here in Tucson, Arizona. You can't begin to see through a window, a side window. Yeah. And the, the uh, windshield seems to be just about as dark. What's the scoop there? You have to go to the uh, windshield underground or something to get those dark tints. Got to go. Yeah, you got to go to the black market, honey. Whoa. Oh, and that actually would make, that's kind of ironic, the black market, yeah, to get you black yeah, tinting, yeah. yeah. So the only thing, she said, the only thing I can do for you is put a strip at the top of the windshield, maybe eight inches wide, that is a bit darker. Yeah. And I said, do it. Every little bit will help. So yeah. I'm anxious to see what that's going to look yeah. like. and if it really does help some, but. Are you getting this two side windows done? Nope, nope, the she said she side, couldn't make the those any darker windows. either. The front window you're getting done, and, and, but not the. You look two. like one of the guys that's uh, on the flight deck that sends the. Uh, that's right, uh, I would be good at it. I'm, I'm, this is my audition, right? Yeah, there you go. And then the back, the <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's a goofy uh, day. It is. It is a goofy day. Our, our regular routine has been disrupted. And the biggest thing that's been disrupted is, is it's it's what? Uh, it's late. We yeah. haven't, I, we, I, Lee has had a bite of lunch, but I haven't had any lunch yet. So it's high time. Did you have breakfast? I did have a protein bar. What did bar, you have? Yes. That's it? That's it. No way. My tummy is growling. Oh, yeah. Oh, I made it. I, I've got some good fixings. And, uh, yeah, I got some produce, and I had a really nice salad. I should have offered you some, but I thought you probably were full. I don't know why. Well, I missed out. Okay. Well, oh. we love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. It's just a bunch of chit-chat mm -hmm. banter. <laughs> Nothing overly important, except the meetup stuff, yeah. My windshield. <sighs> important That's not to me. important to them. And I'm staying <laughs> off of I-10 going through downtown Tucson. Both times, 
that I had the windshield cracked with a stone. It happened right here. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Well, let me right tell you. Right here in Tucson. Okay. I'm not going on that freeway over there. Well, I'm not going to follow you behind because the one time that I got mine, it whacked it. Like, oh my God. It was, I was following him and his car did. And it, it's. Oh, you can't even tell where it is. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. It's a big C. It's a big, it's almost, I got to get mine done too. But that was, I was following him. He threw a big rock at me. So I don't want to hear about it, buddy it on boy. on purpose too. I know. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm, I'm not surprised. <laughs> okay. Well, we, we love you. Please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Of course, we got neck gators, the black ones. It's, see, this is not a turtleneck. Well, okay. This is sort of a turtleneck. I got two neck gators on. I like it to go way up. Remember the Beatles? Um, um, what was the name of that one album where they all wore the big Sergeant black... Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Heart Club Band. Wasn't it? No. No, it was one of the <laughs> early ones. That was like, it was a big Meet the Beatles, wasn't it? Meet the Beatles. And they had the, oh, they God. all had the, yeah. So, yeah, neck gators and glasses. Yep. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye, guys. Oh, not bad. Mm, a little bit of a bite. That's the trouble in El Monito. They don't, they have hot and then hot. That's all they got. That's a little hot. It's a little hot. I don't know. A little bit, little. Poquito. <laughs> Poquito chips. And salsa. It's Taco Tuesday. Mmm. Salsa is hot. Water. I'm going to replenish my fluids. Well, somebody told us to go check it out. We're here. We're at Rosa's. Twenty-five for refried beans and Spanish rice. I'm surprised they call it Spanish rice and not Mexican rice. I wonder what the difference is. Mm. Yeah, the salsa's too hot in Mexican restaurants too. Well, not all of them. Some of them had mild. When we went to Guadalajara, they had mild. Mild. But, you know, that's not good for me because I'm, unless I asked him for a while, I don't know. Maybe I could get mild. Do you possibly have mild? Or is this it? Oh, okay. They do. Cool. Yeah, What kind is it? I couldn't understand it. Pepsi, Cola, or RC? <laughs> Probably RC. Yeah. Oh, thank you. If you'd like to mix it back and forth until you get the oh, right okay. temperature for it. Okay. This is just a... Uh, yeah. What you do is you target a gravy towel, she gets to use your car while you're gone. Mix it up. Seems to be the thing. If you don't have the right consistency, they bring you tomato sauce. <laughs> I know, I know. No. How is it? <laughs> I mean, I don't mean to be a snob, but you know. I don't know why Mexican restaurants, this sounds really bad, but Mexican restaurants can have mild, I mean, there are gringos that come to, the, and we're older too, you know, a lot of times when you're older, you can't handle the, the, the spiciness, yeah. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> Thank you.